Welcome students, in this video we will try to understand how we can configure our Visual Studio for running our C and C++ program. It's been quite easy, first you go to Chrome uh, or any kind of web browser. Here you type the query as MINGW, MINGW. So you'll find a source code as a website where you'll find the MINGW for Windows is been available for download. Click on a download. So this will be downloading your MinGW. It will take few minutes depending on the internet speed. Once your MinGW get downloaded, we require to install the MinGW. So I require to keep this file. So fine, it goes downloaded. So I click on this file and start installing this MinGW. Give a click on install. It is installing the MinGW under our C drive MINGW folder. Fine, I'm okay with this thing. So I give a click on continue. So this will be connecting to the MinGW server and will be completing the installation. Hardly it will be taking some uh, max to max one minute depending on your machine speed and internet speed. Once this MinGW gets downloaded, we require to go for installing the various tools which are related with the C and C++. So fine, the MinGW gets downloaded. Now I will give a click on the continue. So here the ng MinGW installation manager is there. You please select the option called as MinGW32 Base, uh, that is marked for installation. Along with that, you can select the option that is MinGW32 GCC G++. So this option has been available to you for the sake of G++. So you please give a click on this. So one, these two are been marked for the installation. Then give a click on installation and select the option called as Apply Changes. Then give a click on Apply. So now here it will be completing the required installation for us. This will also take a few minutes to you. So after completing the installation, it will be showing you like applying schedule changes. And once the schedule changes are being applied, then the close button is enabled to us. So we close this thing. So what we had done till the moment, we had installed our MinGW32 base and MinGW32 GCC G++. So once you complete this particular thing, the next part is of setting the environmental variable. For setting the environmental variable, you can just click on start and give a click on environmental variable, like edit the system environmental variable. So you are coming to the system properties. Here you can just give a click on environmental variable. In your system variable or user variable, you will get a path. You can give a click on edit of the path. And here you can go for applying the new path of your MinGW. So where we had installed our MinGW, we had installed our MinGW in C drive. You will find a folder MinGW. In that you will find the folder called a bin. Copy this path and paste it inside our new environmental variable value for the path variable. Once that has been done, okay, this Turbo C++ path is also been there. I will just try to delete the path. Then I give a click on OK. Then give a click on OK. Further give a click on OK. So your second step is also been completed. First step is installing the MinGW and installing GCC compiler. Second step is setting the environmental variable. The next step comes as starting our Visual Studio code. Now in the Visual Studio code, you would like to go for applying some kind of extensions. Which are the extension which you require to apply? So you have to give a click on this extension. So how to install the Visual Studio code? Already one video is there. You can just check how to go for installing the Visual Studio code. And in the description box also, I had given the link for the same. And here I am trying to give a search for the code runner. So please give a click on a code runner. So we'll find this code runner, which has been used for the sake of running the C and C++. So you can just give a click on install over here. It is already installed over here, so no need to worry. Uh, over on your machine, you have to give a click on install and complete the installation of extension. There are no special steps for installing this kind of extension. Then you can go and select any of the folder like I had prepared in a D drive one folder with me uh, that is my C++ program and all the rest of the program which I will be doing it, I will be saving it inside the same folder. So the same folder I had opened over here, the process is very simple, file, open folder and you can select your folder which you had planned for saving your C++ program or a C program. So my folder which has been selected by me as CPP program, so you can find our folder has been already been opened. So I double click on this and give a click on selected folder. Fine. 
and here no files are created i would like to create my source code so i give a click on new file i had given a program name as test the extension as cpp and here i'm planning fine it is asking me would you like to go for installing the microsoft c++ language i am not interested i have closed it and here i am writing my first program of cpp uh, or a c i would like to do it for a c++ so here i am going with a c++ so i am writing hash include io stream and here i am writing hash include conio.h further here i am specifying it as using namespace std and then writing a main method by saying void main or int main and just simply specifying c out welcome to more academy and i would like to run the program so you can give a click on this run for save the program you can right click and select the option called the run code or you can give a click on this run button so i'd given a click on the run code and you will find a program get executed and if you check out the output i just try to increase it you will find it is showing me there is an error that int must the main should return the integer value so i just provide int over here saved it and executed once again you will find the program is getting compiled and it is getting executed it displays me welcome to more academy so we have seen how we can go for executing our c++ program so now let us try to run our c program also so i had created my c program by giving the program name as first to the extension called as .c and i am writing my small program by saying hash include stdio standard input output uh, header file and then i am providing over here int main and just writing a small code by saying print tab subscribe so please subscribe our channel so let's try to go for executing this program so i saved the program and given a click on execute you will find the program is getting compiled and it shows me the output called as subscribe so i can run two three times not an issue so fine you will find the output is coming as subscribe over here right so this is the way by which you can configure your visual studio code for running our c and c++ programs thanks for watching it and please subscribe and please like